What's up everybody, Curtis here with episode number three of A Skiing Story. Before I continue, that was a very, very long intro, I know, but please like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. In classic Curtis fashion, I blew it and forgot a piece to my camera, so I didn't really get much footage. I had to kind of change on the fly what the video was gonna be this week. Um, and so I, I decided, you know, one, now you've actually seen, that was every single kid in the U14 program. I thought, you know, why not lay one more foundation or, or building block for the year um, while well, we're still early on here. And, uh, and what I wanted to talk about is a skill that when you move into U14, you have, to, you have to learn how to do, or you start to learn anyways. And the technique is called cross blocking. And, and what you see here in the background is I've, I've done this on purpose and you see some of our first years here, a couple second years, but we're, they're skiing what are called stubbies. And, and stubbies are these shorter gates, go up to about your knee. Um, and, and really it's a nice, and nice kind of progression that Canada has, has uh, implemented in that when you're young, you ski these stubbies that are less intimidating, they're obviously lighter. So you, you can get your feet right on them, right? We can, you can ski that race line all you need is some shin guards and you pass through the stubby um, very simply. As you get to U14, when you kind of turn 12, 13, you then have to start learning how to ski the full gates, right? And so you still want those, those feet nice and tight to the pin, nice and tight to the gate. But instead of just shinning it, you know, now you have to put your hand up and you have what are called cross blockers on your poles to protect your hand, but you also have the face mask or the, or the shin guard. Right, so it's it's a it's a pretty simple skill, but it's it's very very difficult um, to learn at that age. It's 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 a drastic change, and when you're trying to work on your skiing, and all of a sudden you're dealing with this full gate, and you know you have to use your hand-eye coordination, and and there's a lot of different things happening. It's a transition that is can be pretty difficult. So as coaches, we need to try and put the athletes in the best position to succeed, right? And so that's, you know, A, you wanna go on some pretty mellow terrain. B, you wanna set very, very simple, right? No tricks, very shallow, not much offset, so you don't have to really think too much about making the gates or, or finishing the course. It's just very, very shallow back and forth. And then three, you can do kind of fun stuff, like, you know, obviously have two courses where you're, where, where you're skiing stubbies one run, full gates the next run and go back and forth. Or you can do what you'll see in a bit, or you'll see now actually, and that's set a duel, full gates. Right, a lot of times, you know, as first years, or as anybody in life, a skill, it might be more intimidating than it is hard. So if you inject a little competition, and they forget about thinking about it, and the competition, you know, they're competitive little guys, like, they just want to go straight, right? Get the feet on the pin and it'll be more of a reactionary thing. And once you just do two or three runs of that, you kind of sit there and realize, well, geez, like there's really not, not much to this. Um, and even just that little confidence boost can make a huge difference on, on the, on the full season, to be honest with you. So, so yeah, I wanted to lay that last building block for the U14s. I wanted to say too, like everyone's doing such a great job. Obviously, with with all the crazy, but very important, um, you know, hoops we have to jump through, being safe, being disciplined with with COVID, but 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 you know, just just being able to do all that, and also just be be so productive and and so positive. It's 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 been wonderful to see. So next next video will be probably drop it on Christmas actually. Um, and uh, it's gonna be hopefully a lot more about free skiing, okay, off piste and how important that is to the development of, of well, skiers in general, but, but to racers as well. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you learn something too. This'll, this'll be kind of the last real educational one. I say that, who knows. Successful weekend, opening weekend at Pano, but I'll be honest, like the lockdown for me is, it's setting in. Like it's, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna struggle like for sure. 
and I allowed myself to look forward to you know Christmas with the family and um, having that taken away again you know that's just uh, it's gonna be tough for me but at least we have skiing as an outlet still somehow which is a miracle and, and we're blessed so let's just try and stay positive hopefully you enjoy the uh, enjoy the skiing and you, you learn something also in this episode and if I don't see you or release an episode before Christmas have a Merry Christmas peace